the reason I also brought this up, and you might like this as well, is um I saw on YouTube that they're actually there's a program now where hackers are sort of you can be any hacker you want anywhere in the world, uh, and there's they've got a list of missing people. Oh, if, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, and you can um upload if you find any details about them, like anything, like phone number details of their whereabouts or anything, upload it, you get points, and it's sort of done on a point based, and it gives like an incentive to people. To help yeah. find missing people it's, where police it, can't um, and like actually use their own resources. Okay, yeah. It's so sick because like, yeah. at first it seems so twisted and ethically wrong that you've gamified something so serious as missing persons. Exactly, like, yeah. The company that did it have done it for such good reason. Like, So they've got, obviously, so they work with the F, uh, FBI missing persons database. Yep. And anyone can go on the site and they can basically each each person has a has a profile which you can view and each profile has certain pieces of data which can be revealed through various means whether it's literally just browsing the web or you know more more heavy stuff like proper proper hacking yeah but fundamentally it's just sort of crowdsourcing data that's required for these missing persons case because obviously yeah you're right yeah person's case isn't feasible to fund that continuously because a lot of people especially like madeline mccann yeah i was gonna say that's still funded as well the amount amount of money that goes into that is one person so the idea of crowdsourcing um an effort like that is genuinely so innovative and way more effective and efficient than you can possibly imagine because as soon as you gamify it people have an ulterior motive. So obviously, there's a there's the primary motive, which is you're helping do something good. You're helping find someone. Then there's ulterior motive where if you give them an incentive, this point incentive. So you know this person's worth forty points, and this many points gives you this benefit, right? Yeah. So it's obviously quite surface level, and some people some people might argue that it's ethically wrong, but no in terms, way. In terms of actually, yeah, of course they would. But in terms of because if you place points like a value on each person oh okay yeah that, 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 that I, value I, is... no but i thought it's the fact that you get points per oh, bit yeah, of information yeah. not like the actual yeah, person <clears throat> yeah yeah yeah. but each person like is it not arbitrary person... like as in set numbers no oh okay okay so it's not set numbers so it's obviously they, i think they talked about it they were like oh you know this person this piece of information on this person is worth 20 points but this piece of information on this other person is worth 40. so obviously some people might argue it's ethically wrong, but in terms of actually getting work done and you know getting to the point, massively effective. I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's yeah. it's something that's just that's like <laughs> linking back to like a couple episodes ago. That's like or like ten episodes ago. That's that's being an entrepreneur, like finding a problem, and and finding a solution that's efficient. And yeah, maybe for this one, it might be a little bit ethically wrong, but I don't. Think, I personally don't. Think I don't think ethical. it is either. Yeah. But like you said, some people might find it. Yeah, yeah. But to me, like, police physically and uh, monetarily can't look for all these missing people, especially if they've been missing for multiple years. And so allowing the community or a community to actually actively look for them like, helps the police, helps everyone, helps the families affected and helps a person that might be missing or kidnapped, etc. Um, yeah, yeah. And, it, and also another benefit for these hackers that, they might actually find like a passion that they weren't like, didn't know about, and so even if they do they do such a good job like a job on the website, they might even get offered like contracts and stuff from the police, etc. And the FBI because yeah. they've done such a good Obviously, job. Obviously, though, this kind of stuff is we say hackers, we say, we say the term lightly because a lot of the yeah, okay. a lot of the work was stuff that is basically just um you know investigatory, like so they they'd have yeah. a picture crime scene and they'd show you a piece of the so one of the one of the things was it was a piece of the picture from a crime scene where you know this person was taken and there was something in that picture and they were like can you identify this exact model of toy car and then obviously you know anyone who happened to have that kind of knowledge you don't have to be a hacker you just have to know that stuff you could inform yeah. it. that's the beauty of it it's not like it requires you to have this deep knowledge of hacking and you know infiltrating systems and finding back doors and firewalls and that kind of shit it's quite quite surface level and quite accessible uh yeah yeah true i've just read some of the rules as well but they actually they don't actually allow any news or media sites at all so you have to actually go a bit deeper as in oh, yeah really yeah it says here blacklisted sites news and media law enforcement and like the classic like missing persons just page well i mean yeah but i think that's 
Yeah, it's still, still, still somewhat. I get what you mean. Okay, yeah, cool. But yeah, so I, let's just say the, the average... I feel like you have to be a, a fairly adept with a computers to sort of... Not too adept, because like, like I said before, like if you all you need is the, the make of the toy car, you know, all you need to do is Google, like, you find the site, find the company which makes the car, find the models which they produced, find the years which they produced X model. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And you can hand that over. But I do get what you mean. Like, a lot of it, some of it will need a deeper knowledge, but some of it is still surfacely level. Surface level. It, 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 this, oh, this is also something that is more appealing to the, obviously, the younger generation, something that's brought up in the last, or well, just with the internet, I guess, like, this, the idea of like leaving your social pr- footprint on the internet and people trying to help find these missing people through their social footprint. 